So um, we're going to dive right into a demo. Um, for those of you that may have uh, seen a presentation about hybrid last year, this may cover a little bit of the same ground, except last year we were showing screencasts, this year we're showing live code. Um, so, so basically, um, let me go ahead and just, you know, get a fresh uh, OAE sign in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign in as myself. And my intention here is really not to try and cover ground that was covered in the general session earlier. You saw a really compelling demo of OAE earlier, and so I don't want to cover that ground. What I want to do is show you the parts that are specific uh, to the hybrid integration, or the now as it's known, the Pi a la mode. <clears throat> so um, the one thing I, I guess I want to say to start off with is that hybrid at its core is essentially two fully functional Sakai instances, one CLE, one OAE, and a little bit of glue code between the two systems. Um, one of the things that you'll see here, let me go ahead and remove this for a second, is I'm, I'm in my dashboard. You see uh, the cool kind of content discovery that, that's going on here, uh, suggested groups and, and uh, the carousel at the top. Um, let's go ahead and add a widget to my dashboard. And in this case, um, I'm looking for the Sakai 2 favorites widget. So let's add that to my dashboard. And you can see now my Sakai 2 favorites. Maybe I want that to be up here and just drag and drop and reorganize that. So, so this is uh, the launch point uh, for the first scenario that David described where I want to launch directly into uh, a portal representation of the Sakai 2 site. So for example, let's look at my workspace. Now if, uh, if I came into work one day and this, this portal maybe magically appeared on my screen and no one had really told me, or maybe I wasn't paying attention that there was some new functionality coming down the pipe, as a, an instructor, I might log in and potentially not even notice that, uh, that there was a new portal in front of me. Because we've tried to replicate the Sakai 2 CLE experience as closely as possible, primarily to reduce uh, that jarring change of, oh, it looks different. Um, and so, you know, basically you've got uh, tools down the left, there's profile two, calling out to Mr. Swinsburg over there. Uh, and so, you know, this is just a, a, a few tools that show up in my workspace. Um, one little minor enhancement that we do on top of the, the CLE portal is that these are all iframes um, that are being swapped in and out of view. And so you'll notice, uh, for example, the first time I load up WorkSag setup, it took about a half second to pull up. Well, now, if I switch away and switch back, it's instant. And so the performance is kind of cool, you know, if you're clicking around different tools. But what may be a little bit more interesting is, uh, let's say that I'm in here modifying my preferences in the profile tool, and I, I realize, oh, I, I need to head over to resources for a second, and I'm going to do some work there. If, uh, here we go. So let's say I want to upload a file, and then I'm like, oh, you know, an interrupt comes in, boom, I want to switch back to profile. Because of this iframe swapping that we do in and out of view, the tool is exactly how you left it. Um, if you have a, a bunch of text that's sitting in a text box, all of that text will be there. No, the state is not changed in the least. So for someone who needs to, you know, multitask between a couple tools, this can be a nice, uh, a nice little boon in terms of productivity. So, um, so again, this, this is a, a widget in the dashboard. It allows me to launch directly into a Sakai 2 representation of the site. Now, what you're looking at is an OAE widget. It happens to be a very large widget that takes up the entire screen, but it is a widget like any other widget in the OAE. And, um, you know, here, a few, as David pointed out, some of the places that the OAE is currently lacking right now in functionality can be augmented quite nicely 
with tools coming out of the CLE. So that's scenario number one. Uh, next, what I want to show you is the second scenario where um, I'm going to place individual tools. So in this case, uh, I want to create. Let's go ahead and create some content. So I want to create a new document. And like any good developer, hello world. That sounds good. So let's add that to my library. So now I have the, the default uh, blank or you know, empty document that you get out of the OAE. It has some nice instructional text. Let's edit this page. And I want to insert a, a widget. So in this particular case, I'm going to insert a, a new widget. And this is only something that we talked about last year. And now I'm able to show you uh, as a reality this year is a pretty simple uh, tool or widget where I can drop in any number of uh, CLE tools into this page. So just for fun, um, let's do assignments and just save it. So now I'm sitting in the OAE, right? This is an OAE content page. So, you know, earlier we were in a in sort of a CLE representation. Now we're in a fully OAE representation of the user interface. But I've dropped in a single piece of CLE functionality onto this page. And just to demonstrate that a little further, I could have some text here. In fact, you can have multiple widgets on a page. Maybe, oh, I'm sorry, I can't demonstrate that. I'm not connected to the, the actual uh, internet uh, to reduce the number of variables for this demo. So let me insert a, maybe a comments widget. So there, you see I've got some text, I've got the assignments tool, and then below it I have a comments widget. So, you know, there's potential here. I, I, I can't even begin to imagine how you might mash up a page with text and widgets and CLE tools into something that uh, is bigger than uh, the individual parts, but you can get an idea of what's possible here. The um, other thing, let's go back, just to show you a little bit uh, behind the curtain, if I go to slash portal, you still have the fully functional CLE portal sitting there. So this potentially, for me, is kind of a risk mitigation issue. You could potentially have folks go to the OAE portal, and then if, you know, God forbid something went wrong, just send them back to the old portal. So it's, it, you know, as you think about your rollout plans, plans, this is kind of a risk mitigation factor. You still have that full CLE functionality just sitting there, and uh, you can choose how, how and when you use that. So let me just, uh, again, maybe go into a slightly more complex example. And I'm going to go ahead and create, oh, I'm sorry, here we go. I've got a, a project site, a space, or a group. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what uh, terminology I'm using yet, but uh, basically here I've got a group with two documents in it and two participants. Uh, this particular group has a PDF file and then a document. So if I take a look at hybrid one, this is uh, basically a document that I've created that has multiple pages. So as David was pointing out earlier, it may not make sense necessarily to mash up a bunch of CLE tools, one on top of each other, but you might have them laid out uh, like, like this, where you've got, again, the navigation on the left, it feels very familiar to the CLE, um, and, and is presented in that familiar way. But we're still in an OAE group, OAE content, but now exposing external services as, as widgets within there. 